Hello everyone. So, those that know me already know this run didn't go as well as it was meant to. But that being said, it's been a few months after and it's like I want to get back to it and actually start to do the video editing for it. So this is just as I'm starting to do it. And it's like I don't really have an intro, I don't really have an outro. It gets to a point in the event where the videos just stop. I can't recall how much I recorded or anything, but there's a lot of highlights and a lot of memories from this run. And yeah, it's the first one at Trails Plus that I've ever not finished. And Brett made sure of that. <laughs> well, I didn't make sure of that, but he said, you've never f not finished an event. And it's like my hopes of finishing were so high after he said that. But it wasn't to be. But I've said but a lot. Anyway, the event itself is one of my most treasured runs to date. And I've done a lot of runs. There's been thousands of them over the years, and oh, you couldn't even begin to count how many there have been. There's only been a few where I haven't finished it, which is okay. Um, it, it can be very humbling. I did have a lot of great lead-ups to this run, a lot of downfalls, uh, having like a strained tendon in my foot from the Marinda Dam event that I uh, I recovered from, but yeah, there's a lot that led up to it. I'm not saying any excuses for not getting through it. I just did what I could on the day and I still loved it. It was a very memorable event. Uh, you'll see more before I talk more again. Maybe I'll get this GoPro out again and go from there. I'm looking forward to reliving parts of this run again and I'm looking forward to trying again in the future. There's nothing that's going to stop me from getting this goal. Just like Buffalo Stampede, it took me three years for me to do that. And in a way, this is only my second attempt at, complete, at trying to do 100 miles. And... Spoilers, I got to about 70 kilometres <laughs> and that was the end of my day for me, even after trying to go out again. But, yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm going to get to it, because otherwise this video is going to be very long. But I hope you all, en all enjoy this video and you get to see what no one's seen yet. Uh, it saddens me <laughs> that my hair is not that long anymore. Um, it was cut a bit short, but I do have a tattoo on my back now, since the, this time. And, yeah. Let's get to it. Bye. So this is what it looks like when you're getting ready for your run a week in advance. <laughs> Everything that's on the couch is what I'm taking. That's going to be a lifesaver, I think. These are for my aid stations. This is obviously going to be the big one for the start of each loop. I want to get some more fruit closer to the day as well, just so it's nice and fresh. These mandarins will last for ages anyway. Yeah, I think it's getting exciting. Um, <laughs> nervous. I'll probably have fruit at the aid stations as well, but one thing I've really been enjoying from Aldi uh, these, these are really good, super juicy, and I think that's going to go well. Sunrise at the Yangs. One. Seven oh nine Saturday morning. Too cold. Nine. Oh, really? <laughs> Hard enough. <laughs> our incredible team of volunteers that will be here over the weekend. Thank you, volunteers. Thank you. Equally 
as important to us is having really good sponsors on board and we've got Magnus and Barry here from 32GI and Sportsphere. Um, fantastic supporters. Magnus has been with us for a few years and Barry's been on board for a year or so and he told me he's staying on board for 10 years. Didn't you? <laughs> No, uh, it's just great having good products and good people. They're both runners, triathletes, and um, well, I'm not sure about Barry is triathlete as well. But <laughs> we can do the run leg. Yeah. So yeah, just good to have people that are connected uh, you know, to the community rather than just popping along. We also have some other sponsors. A uh... um, couple of minutes. Yeah, I'm not going over it now. <laughs> I'm going to go that way. Well done everyone, <laughs> lap number one of five or one of eight. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I had someone, I was helping someone through the 50 here once and every time we got up here she uh, flipped me off. She's like why do we have to climb this again? <laughs> For fun. Yeah. I think this is in the middle of the night. Yeah. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. It's so hard to go slow. It's like I've been going slow, but I just twisted my ankle on the first bloody climb. <laughs> Nothing bad, but it's like, come on, Matt, get your shit together. Such a long day ahead. Oh well, just need to get to the bottom of the hill. It'll be right. It looks like they get out of more from India. <laughs> oh, I hate these bits. <sighs> Greetings guys, two hours in, Courtney will be starting her half marathon now, so stay strong Courtney, I hope to see you again soon. And I'm nearly 30 minutes ahead of cutoff time so far, so it's going pretty good. See you soon, bye. I realise I might have stuffed up um, because I was going to do the proposal at the start I had a message from my live tracker saying 105 miles and a proposal an epic adventure but I didn't take Courtney off did I? but I don't know if the live tracker went out the message 
So, 50-50% chance she knows that she hasn't said anything. I'll just play dumb when I see her. And I'm hoping when I do see her, that'll be the start of my third loop. So, we'll go up to Flinders and propose there. <sighs> she probably already knew anyway, so. She was going last night. I oh, know your secret. <laughs> so. <sighs> Here's what it is. I'm not stressed. I just hope she joins me for the third climb. <sighs> Depending on how we're both going, going, I might see her uh, towards the end of my second loop. <sighs> Let's just keep going, hey? We're about 17 k's in, I think. I've lost track. Two and a half hours. Let's go. Seven to go. One down, seven to go. <laughs> Sounds good. Greetings. Ooh, lap one done. Lots of friends. Well done. Hello. Seems very quiet here at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Well done, people, adventurers. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. The mandatory tap. <laughs> so if I can get Courtney to come up here, I'll propose here. That would be a good spot. Yeah. Oh. Two to go. Yeah. Or two finish. So you've got the, the forward proving ground too. Six to go. Yep. Thank you for the company so far, gentlemen. That's all right. We're just going to sit here. Bye. Bye. Ah, Courtney's down there somewhere. Hope to see you before the end of this loop, Courtney. I love you. John. Ah, oh, that's made my day <laughs> so far. I had this girl running past me, coming down Flinders, and goes, Ooh, halfway. I'm like, oh, that'd be nice. And she's like, oh no. Has a look. I'm like, yeah, I've got six more climbs to do up here. Oh, it's funny though. Hello. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I really need to pee. People keep coming. See you soon. I think I definitely had my first low section of the run. Um, it's just that bit through the saddle and going through that single track area it's just hard first bit of negative thoughts I think I'm through it now I'm doing the small loop now for 3k's uh, just had a couple of mandarins yeah, it tasted really good. <sighs> Gotta focus a little bit more now. Enjoy this cool breeze and rain while I can. <sighs> Bye. <sighs> Climb number three. Five more to go. Mila. Yeah, how about you? Nice. Is that Mila or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun. This is a few years ago and it's yeah. Up to you. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. You got paid? I've got one for one lap. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm hoping lap six. 
That would be good. Yeah, that's a good time to get it. Yeah. Fourth climb going up, Flinders. There you go, Courtney, there's the red light. <laughs> So many thoughts have just gone through my head with watching that whole video. It's like this part here had a really great friend of mine, Kat, with me, joining me for the climb and so she's come all this way up and I ended up only doing three that three kilometre section up to the top of Flinders. I was feeling nauseous, my legs weren't where they should have been, I guess. I just didn't want to work. For that three kilometre section, you should normally do it in about half an hour, 40 minutes, roughly. Like, it's a pretty big climb. Granted, I'm at 70 kilometres at this point. Not the strongest I've been at the Yuyanes, especially when I compare it to, like, the 100 kilometre that I ran here. But I still gave it a try before this part. I had taken Courtney over to my car and you kind of see the lights of Melbourne behind uh, where we were and that's where I proposed. I was like, no, I had to propose to her then and there. Uh, got her away from people. She thought something was wrong when I started going down on my knees and I still remember the look on her face going like thinking something was really wrong for me to be going to the car and then kneeling down and then proposing and it's funny it's like we're both out of it um, I had the engagement ring on oh in my backpack the whole day and <laughs> uh, I had it in a plastic bag and I kind of like had my back to her when I was getting it out of my bag and I showed it, I was like, oh, quick look. I'm like, yep. And then I accidentally <laughs> handed it to her upside down. Um, she hasn't mentioned it much, but it's like, yeah, she opened it and flipped it around the right way. So <laughs> it's funny. Um, no regrets at all. It's like the, one of the happiest moments I've had in my life. Uh, I, like I was saying I still remember the look on her face when I was starting to propose and I remember saying to her Courtney there's no guarantees that I'm going to get through this or if I'm even going to be able to finish one more lap but I guarantee that I'm going to ask you to marry me and that I want to be with you for the rest of my life and yeah the look on her face when she realized I was proposing she obviously said yes <laughs> uh, it went really well I'm still happy still happy that I went out for this loop oh, I tried to the only regret I have I know it would have been hard as well going out for the remainder of that loop but now after so much thought I'm like oh I wish I could have gone out and finished that loop it's like it would have got me to 100 kilometers that one or nearly yeah um at least in the 90s. Yeah, it would have been like the 90s and then the next one would have been over 100. And it's like, oh, that would have been nice just to get that done. But it didn't happen. I'm still very happy. It's one of the greatest runs I've ever had and just seeing that little footage of it 
it's been enough to relive some moments and some funny parts as well and I still remember a lot that happened and I know maybe if you guys want to hear more I could do like a Q and A on the run and I could answer more or tell you some more. But I'm just gonna be leaving this as a pretty raw video. Yeah, I didn't get through it. Would have been amazing to do that. It was like two impossible things for me to be attempting in one day, I kept telling people. And I thought if I could do one impossible thing, asking someone that I love to marry me, then it makes it easier to do another impossible thing for me where it's getting through like an extreme event like I can't think of anything that would be harder than this for me to do like to go from 150 kilos not walking not running to doing 100 miles it's why I'm so passionate about it and that's why I'm not going to give up uh, trying to do this I'm in the process of trying some new things that might work better for me and I really do believe I'm going to get it. I just don't see my life ending without <laughs> getting through a 100 mile run and it's like I'm going to get through a 100 mile run I'm going to get married probably on the Gold Coast <laughs> which is fine. Um, there's still lots of time to do this and it's like yeah I want to get rid of some of this weight but I get my stress levels down and I'll be happy I just got to keep trying got to keep moving that's what I'm going to keep telling myself just have to keep trying I do thank Kat very much for this and she had a good fun she nearly set me on fire after the run <laughs> <laughs> that was funny uh, for those that haven't heard the story I was sitting in the chair and it's like my legs had shut down and it's like I was shivering got some clothes put on me and all that and uh, Kat was the uh, procurer procurement of the flames in the fire pit so she put some greasy pizza boxes in there and it really took off and I just happened to be in the direction where the flames were going and oh, <laughs> oh, it was funny though um, I do remember coming down from this particular climb as well and I was looking at the trail lights and it's like oh it looks like the trees are on fire <laughs> and it was just the markers for the night time um, yeah that was funny that was a good time I still remember Kat telling everyone, oh yeah, Matt thought the trees were on fire as we were going past them. It was funny. Uh, I really can't wait to get back out there again. Courtney and I will be going out to the Eugenes for the Halloween Howler as well soon, so I'm looking forward to that. And I will be aiming for a very fast run. I want to do... I want to do under two hours for the half marathon and it's like I've never ran a half marathon at the UN it's like the minimum distance I've always completed is 30 kilometers so even then it was 36 because I got lost actually no I have done a half at the midnight run yeah that's right I think I have can't remember yeah I've done a lot of runs there but yeah I'm looking forward to that I've got a run from my new training program that I want to put up as well but anyway lots of memories looking forward to more and going back and trying 100 miles again I'll be signing up again next year and my plans for this year continue this training program for the half marathon on the runner app I'll be doing some videos on that so it'll be a half marathon then. Then I want to tackle some 5k training. So it would be nice to do like a really fast 5k before the end of the year. A PB would be amazing. I don't think that will happen. But 
getting another 22 minute park run would be nice 21 amazing 20s to get a PB after beat 2051 a Tarogan park run for a PB so yeah those phones tell me to go to sleep but that's not gonna happen um yeah that's my goals and then start in January back to specific 100 mile training we'll see what it's going to say in the runner app for me for that uh, maybe even do two bays trail run that would be nice a good way to start the year with a 28k and build up from there anyway all gonna love yous and leave yous thank you for watching if you've watched this far I've recently gotten a bonus from work and I can nearly afford a new GoPro so I'm thinking about getting that but I want to prove that I'm going to be doing these videos more often before I get it so give me the encouragement to do this people used to love watching my videos I want to bring that back all right thank you all have a great day bye